There was a time when Meghan Markle and Prince Harry rejected the royal title, Earl of Dumbarton, because of Dumb and Dumbarton. Well, their fate had something else in store for them. Believe it or not, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been downgraded to Countess and Earl of Dumbarton. We know how much Meg hates Dumbarton, let alone using the title herself. Is it a fair move on the part of the royal family? Meghan and Harry know how to keep the media busy. That's the reason why they're always making headlines. Archie, Meghan, and Harry's firstborn was not given the earldom of Dumbarton title. Apparently, both the parents were too concerned about their children being bullied and teased because of the word dumb and jokes related to it. Guess who sounds dumb saying that? Meghan and Harry avoided the earldom title that Queen Elizabeth had initially awarded Harry before his 2018 royal wedding by calling their son Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. Guess what? After the release of the latest Netflix series about Harry and Meghan Markle, the UK Parliament has decided to downgrade them from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to Earl and Countess of Dumbarton. MP Bob Seeley tweeted, Harry Windsor should voluntarily relinquish his titles. If he doesn't, Parliament should act to remove them. If Harry Windsor doesn't like the monarchy, don't be a part of it, but don't use your titles and trash the institution. Imagine Megan's horror at this news as we know how much she hates Dumbarton. Well, no offense to the people of Dumbarton and their greatness. Meghan Markle may just be too stupid to be hating Dumbarton for the reason of having the word dumb in it. Not only this, after the death of Queen Elizabeth II, Archie and Lilibet, the children of Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were supposed to become prince and princess. But unfortunately, King Charles conveniently avoided the manor and the official website still addresses them as master and miss. The two children were too far down the line of succession when they were born to be given those titles under the rules of established by King George V in 1917. When Archie was born, he was given the title Earl of Dumbarton. According to Buckingham Palace, he could have had the title of Lord, but his parents chose to call him Master Archie instead. Following Queen Elizabeth II's death, other members of the royal family had their titles changed as well. Prince Charles will be referred to as His Majesty rather than His Royal Highness. Camilla, King Charles's wife, has been elevated to the position of Queen Consort. Instead of Her Royal Highness, she'll be referred to as Her Majesty. Did you know that the Queen Consort is simply the reigning king's wife? Their role is defined by marriage and is more symbolic, as opposed to the Queen, who is the official ruler of the United Kingdom. During King Charles's first address to the nation, he also announced that he had bestowed the title of Prince of Wales on William, which is traditionally given to the heir to the throne. Kate Middleton, formerly the Duchess of Cambridge, has been named Princess of Wales, a title last held by William's mother, Princess Diana, George, Charlotte, and Louis. William and Kate's children will now be known as Prince and Princesses of Wales, but not Archie and Lilibet. In early 2020, Harry and Meghan announced their intention to leave royal duties and relocate to North America, citing the British media's intolerable invasions of privacy and racist attitudes. Since then, the couple has publicly expressed their displeasure with the British monarchy. Following their exit, the couple appeared on Oprah Winfrey's show, which was watched by 50 million people worldwide. They claimed that the royal family was concerned about the skin color of their unborn child as Marco is biracial. The couple has not identified the family member in question, and Harry later stated that it was an example of unconscious bias, not racism. In their Netflix documentary, Harry was scathing about the royal press team and how his relationship with the royal household had broken down. Markle described wanting to end her life as she struggled to cope with negative press coverage in the United Kingdom. Harry's memoir, which details his private emotional turmoil and bitter family resentments, was released in bookstores on January 10th. The couple chose not to be working royals, but they retained the titles bestowed upon them when they were. Many people believe that they're not acting like a duke and duchess should, and that their relentless attacks and revelations of private conversations within the royal family have demonstrated that they are unworthy of their titles. Do you think Harry and Markle are worthy of their royal titles? Share your views in the comments and like the video. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any updates.